Hi everyone, you may have noticed in um, recent weeks I've been musing about once COVID-19 is all over, uh, I've been thinking about going to uh, Taiwan to go look for my future wife. Uh, I've been very excited about how, well, I hate to use the word excited because obviously a lot of people are suffering, but I've been optimistic that COVID-19 has forced people who were in shaky relationships to finally break up and um, thus at the end of the crisis I'm gonna have a huge pool of singles to choose from. I've been kind of optimistic about that but I want to mention why I want to go to Taiwan to go look for my future wife and not do that here in the United States. Um, as a lifelong American, I hate to say this, but I think Americans are just really disgusting and I gotta say, I wasn't too surprised that even though uh, America is not a very uh, population dense area, that we had the worst outcome uh, with COVID-19. Um, when I was, uh, last year when I was working at a tutoring center, um, I would have clients who showed up sick and with just not so good hygiene habits uh, all the time. I had one client who was trying to uh, learn multiple um, sports, multiple musical instruments, and doing a lot of extracurricular activities. And he would show up to the tutoring like half asleep all the time. To, to his credit, he, he seemed to pick up everything. But he would show up very high on caffeine. And um, it makes me wonder what's he going to use with his talent when he ends up with cancer when he's 30 or 40 years old, right? Because of all the sleep deprivation, all the caffeine, all the all the junk, not doing a very good number on him. Um, he, he, he's going to he's gonna have all this great stuff in his head, but his body is just going to quit, right? And uh, it makes me wonder what, what, why he's doing that to himself. Um, I obviously didn't say it to him. If he wants his tutoring, um, oh, he gets it. But, but in the back of my mind, it makes me wonder if, if I'm wasting my time, if, if his body's not going to allow him to use any of that, right? And then on top of that, he showed up deathly ill one time. Uh, he was making this slurping noise with, with mucus going up and down his nose. He, he, he refused to blow out his nose for some reason. And again, I, I hate to point stuff out like that to him, so I let him slurp the whole time. And then at the end of the tutoring, he, he rushes to the bathroom, and I hear vomiting noises. And uh, you would never dream of people going to, go, going to tutoring or going to work or anything like that uh, if they're that ill in uh, Taiwan. And um, it's, it's, uh, he's really doing himself a, a disservice. Um and um, uh, hopefully, hopefully, COVID nineteen will, will make us rethink about our priorities going forward. Uh, I, I'm not so sure about that. We've had other outbreaks in the past. Nothing this big, obviously. Obviously, people see the results of them going to work with uh, the cold or the flu all the time, right? It hasn't stopped anybody from from doing that. And then on top of that, uh, some people just have really bad uh, personal hygiene. Uh, I know this because I have uh, eczema, and I have to avoid certain foods uh, to keep it under control. And uh, sometimes I'll see somebody next to me eating something offensive, and I'll tell them to please keep your uh, uh, keep your food in your area. Please wash your hands after you're done. People take great offense at those remarks sometimes, uh, and I can I can only imagine when health officials say. Uh, to wash your hands uh, with soap and water for 20 seconds. How, how internally they're gonna fight back on that. Oh, uh, and uh, but you know I've lived with this for many years, so I, I already know that. Um, one time I was at a because I'm always paying attention to uh, people's hands when they're eating stuff that uh, I react to. Right. Um, one time I was at a conference in uh, where was that? I think it was Yokohama. And uh, I heard somebody dusting their hands off after eating because I've become kind of sensitive to that noise just because uh, I know I got to pay attention to it. Uh, he was a good, good enough social distance away from me that it wasn't going to bother me, but I was curious who did it. And when I looked, 
it was one of the few people who at the conference who was from the United States. He was from UCLA, if I remember correctly. Uh, we had lots of uh, other countries at that competition, right? Obviously, there were a few people from Japan. Uh, there was one team from Taiwan. I'm still trying to beat them in Chinese chess. We have a number of computer uh, games uh, uh, that, that, that artificial intelligence that competes against each other. Uh, but it was the guy from UCLA who was making a big ruckus with his eating. Uh, and you could imagine if, you, if you're going to do it with food, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the, most people wouldn't mind if they coughed or sneezed into their hands to, to then touch anything they, they, they can think of, right? Um, and then I go to Taiwan, and long before COVID-19, people were putting on a mask when they had a cold or a flu, right? Uh, anyway, so that's in a nutshell. Uh, and, then, and then here in the United States, so... Uh, you know, people, people, they talk about being anti-racist, but then they say Black Lives Matter, right? They have to use the word black in there. Um, in Taiwan or in a lot of other places I've traveled, the attitude is all lives matter. We would never use the word black, right? Even if it's in a positive way, right? Um, people think life is very precious in a lot of other places in the world. It's It's never us against them, right? And uh, and we're we're so uh, gung ho about that that we're willing to go out on the street and risk our lives just to just to to, to propagate even more racism, right? Uh, anyways, uh, I think Americans are just really gross. Thanks for watching.